Good day everyone, and I am here to discuss the second uh, lesson in Module 1, which is the Ethics in Research. So, Ethics in Research helps establish the moral integrity of the researcher. So, through this, the researcher can be able to conduct the research properly, honestly, with integrity, and with morality, and of course, tinood si ja with the right conduct and straight and narrow. So, muna ay butpasabot sa moral integrity. Ngang ijang research study, tinood, sakto, reliable. Now, what is, what is ethics? Ethics are norms for conduct that distinguish between acceptable and unacceptable behavior. So, what is acceptable o unsa may unacceptable behavior when it comes to research? What do you think is right and what do you think is wrong? So, ethics is important in research because first and foremost, it promotes the pursuit of knowledge, truth, and credibility. If you are a researcher and you give importance to ethics, ang imuhang study is true or pursuit of knowledge, truth, and credibility. So, credible ang imong research study. And tinuod siya. And it really gives knowledge to people. Secondly, many of the ethical norms help ensure that researchers are held accountable to the public. So, if you are a researcher and you give importance to ethics, maguna man good ka that your study is for the public. So, mauna nga, imo siyang gihatagan o importansya kay you are held accountable kung unsay mahitabo sa public sa result sa imong research. And thirdly, adherence to ethical principles helps build public support for research. So, since you are giving importance to ethics, ang public mo support sa imuhang research study. Kay kahibaw man sila that at the end of the study, they will benefit for it and it will be good for them. So, that's why it gives or it builds public support in your research. So, these are the ethical principles that researcher must observe. First and foremost, honesty. Honestly report data, results, methods and procedures and public status. Do not fabricate falsify or misinterpret data. So, dapat honest ta when it comes to our research. When, when it comes to, to our research study. So, we must honestly give the result what methods and procedure that we use and the publication status. So, if it's published or not. So, we should not fabricate, falsify, or misinterpret any data at all. Next one is subjectivity. Avoid or minimize bias or self-deception. Let's say for example, mo anak ka nga, si Jaray hang pangutan on her interview, I will conduct research to this group kay more many close na ho. So, you became biased. Or, self-deception, or in fact, makayong ka nga, si Jaray hang paganahan ko ninja. Alright? So, dili na pwede. Third is integrity. Keep your promises and agreements. Act with sincerity. Strive for consistency of thought and action. So you have to keep your promise and agreements if you are giving it to some people. Let's say, for example, you're conducting a research study at this barangay. And then you told the barangay captain that I will give you the result after the research study because this will benefit your barangay for the wellness of your barangay. Now, after the research, because you are already done with it and you already graduated, and then you forgot about your promise that you will give the result to the barangay captain for the wellness of their barangay. So, nawagtang na ang imong integrity. And you have to strive for consistency of thought and action. Dili kay. I like this, and then tomorrow I don't like it. Ja, snacks na po, ganahan na po ko ani, then the next day, di na po ganahan. So, you have to be consistent when it comes to your thought and your action. 
The next is carefulness. Avoid careless errors and negligence. Carefully and carefully examine your work and keep good records of research activities. Let's say, for example, you are tabulating already. So, magtabulate naman mo sa inyong uh, data. That will fall on the data analysis. Sige, so magtabulate na mo. Okay, so, pila man ikabok ang niingunog, yes. Okay, so, kanang istik-istik bitaw na to, nga, ang score. Sige, duhara sa yes, unja sa no, kay 20 kabuok. Alright. Now, makalimot naman ka, na, makaingo na ka nga, unsa man isa siya? 2 ni or 11? Tumad ka istik-istik raman. So, maglibog na ka, is it 11 or is it 2? Ha? 11 na? What na? Kamayra na nga error, but it will have a big impact. Ang imong data, ang imong calculation, masayop na dyan na. So, carefulness. Gamay nga error that will lead to a bigger one. Then we have openness. Share data, results, ideas, tools, and resources. Be open to criticism and new ideas. So, dapat open-minded ka. Oh, dapat uh, pareha ka sa mga networking, open-minded. You are open to new ideas. Let's say, for example, you are the leader. Nanangutan na ka sa imong mga classmates. What do you think is our title for our research study? Oh, so, na ay, ang imong mga classmates ng hatag. But you don't like it. Ang imong ganahan, ang imong rangka walingon. Yes, you are open to their ideas, but you are not accepting it. So, dapat, kay ang imong gusto, more imong gusto matuman. No, so that is not openness. That is not accepting new ideas. That is just hearing new ideas, okay? Then we have respect for intellectual property. Honor patents and copyrights. Do not use unpublished data, methods, or results without permission. Give credit where credit is due. Give proper acknowledgement or credit. So never ever plagiarize. So we will be teaching you on how to use the MLA and APA in in-text citation style for you to be able to copy paste information from the internet without plagiarizing but honoring or giving credit or credit is true so so author so we will be uh, teaching you how to do that in respect to intellectual property so kung dili na imo please please do not just copy paste kay dili man na imo okay and use published data ayo kay use to unpublished kay copyright po na okay then con confidentiality Protect confidential protect confidential communications and personal information of your respondent. So you must protect your respondents. What information you have will stay on you. So what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Okay? So what happens in your research study? stays in your research study. Let's say for example mga behavior ang Then you have noticed nga yeah. oh so social behavior then you have noticed that this person is always uh, observing people kung sa ilang mga pambuhaton so kung sa bisaya pa sa ato chismosa oh, so nakaibaw mga kaana tiniingon na po kasi mga pikas nga kana na isa siya kay kuana na na so where is the confidentiality in that right then we have social responsibility so you have to be socially responsible you have to use a research study that is good for your society not bad for your society so you have to strive to promote social good and prevent social harms so through research ay public education and advocacy so kinahanglan makahatag ka og education and good advocacy sa inyong research dili kay makahatag ka o dili maong para nila. Right? So, be social responsible. Then, we have competence. Maintain and improve professional competence and expertise through lifelong education and learning. So, be competent, especially in conducting research. Dili kay, in, in, in interview ni mo, 
pangutan on ka sa imong interview imo ingon ra po kag ambot ay gisunggo ra man ning ma'am na magidangat gisunggo ra ko no dia ko nagsugo ninyo nga interview hon siya right so that is your decision so dapat you are competent enough to know what you are doing you have to know what you are doing okay then Legality. Know and obey relevant laws and institutional and governmental policies. Let's say, for example, you are conducting a soil erosion. Oh, what happens to the trees or the soil kung mag-soil erosion na? So, may effects ana. Let's say, mo na ang imong study. And then, the place where the soil erosion has is private property. So, wala muna nang hit sa tagi siya. Kay, kung ano malagi, ito ang malagi sa lasang. So, you are kampantera mo nga, okay ra lagi ni. Kay, di lagi kitang tagi siya. Okay ra ni. But, matungnan mo, nga nang ana ang tagi siya sa inyang juta. Then, therefore, you are trespassing. Then, therefore, you disobey the law. So, the innocence of the law, or, Ignorance, rather, ignorance of the law. Wa jud na ko ano? Okay. So dapat kahibaw ta kung sa jud ang sakto ng buhaton. So if na mo na nga situation, then of course you have to ask permission. Of course, ask permission. Kaya rin dili mo mga preso, right? Kay ignorance of the law excuses no one. Then animal care. Show and proper respect and care for animals. Do not conduct poorly designed animal experiments, especially kung may experiment mo. Dogs and cats are not lab rats, and rats, and monkeys, and mouse, and so on and so forth. So animal care. So if you want to conduct an experiment, then do it to yourself. If it harms you, then it harms to everyone. Oh, kaya ang kasagaran naman good sa mga research facility, mag-conduct silang experiment sa animals. Hmm, labi lang mga skin care. Kung may allergic reaction sa animal, then of course na allergic reaction sa tao. Muna magamit silang animal. So if you give importance to ethics, you give importance to animal care. And the next one and the last one is human subject protection. Minimize human harm and risk and maximize the benefits. So, you have to minimize the harm when it comes to human. And maximize the benefit. So, instead of uh, instead of maximizing the harm and the risk, maximize the benefits. And so, may makabinipisyo, aninina. Respect human dignity, privacy, and autonomy. So, dapat ang na-adjoining data privacy act. You don't want ever, everyone to know about you. Maybe some people want to know who you are, what you are capable of, but some wants privacy. So, dapat you have to respect their dignity, their privacy, and their autonomy. Autonomous ang ilang pagkadili mahibawan kinsa sila. Then take special precautions with vulnerable populations. Strive to distribute the benefits and burdens of research fairly. So, dapat, when it comes to your research study, fairly distributed ang benefits o ang burdens. Fairly. And take special precautions with vulnerable populations. Let's say, for example, you are conducting a social... Uh, behavior when it comes to only child. Okay, yung mag-dis na lang. Kung only child ko no, spoil brat ko no. Oh, ma matter. That, that is according to them. So, they are vulnerable people. So, you, you take special precautions with vulnerable people. Okay? Then, these are the rights of research participants. Firstly, voluntary participation. Dili ta mamugos. Dili po tapo din mo ingon sa atong participant nga why pug sanay why balibaray of course they are your part they are your participants and it is just voluntary war ba mo nagsuldo ana nila para mo participate so voluntary informed consent dapat informed sila kung unsay indong gibuhat 
dili kay mo ingon mo tena ko pangutan na unsa imuan di na pwede so dapat mayo ka nga te we are or ma'am sir we are 11 years a and we are conducting a research study this is on behalf of our, of our practical research one subject so this is one of our requirements hmm. so dapat na informed consent Rest of harm, tapat dili sila in harm. Let's say for example, sila experiment man mo, so nangita mong participant, nga sila yung jo experiment kohan. That can harm to them. Dili na pwede. And confidentiality, so gibalik-balik ka dyan confidentiality because it is very important. Whatever the person said will never go out to the public. Okay? Anonymity. So, being anonymous. So, kung di si Tiyaga nahan nga maibawa ni Jangan, don't force it. Na may uban tao nga mo yun nga. Ibot ang haungan ha. Dapat na haungan. Uh, let's say for example, from our, from my experience, sa ahong master's uh, degree research, na conduct may research, diya sa simbahan, niya napakandak na mo kay si Monsignor Man. So, <laughs> nakatawa lang ko because I have experienced this anonymity kaya hindi man may butang ungan nag-inform man lagi may so monik, anong nakadak ng research te kay kanang, this is from our subject na critical thinking by Monsignor ah, ah, si Monsignor dahil na ibutang hungan, ibutang hungan na may mga tao nga gusto magpahibaw na may mga tao nga dili gusto magpahibaw so that's that. that th those are the rights of the research participants, right? So those are the principles of ethics, the rights of the research participants, and that was all about uh, ethics. So moto ang second lesson in module one, right? So I will be dividing you into five groups already. I will be. Uh, letting you know kin sa inyong mga kagroupmates para at least ahead of time makahibaw na mo or makaunahuna na mo mga problema topic, dili title ha, topic okay, so thank you so much for listening and goodbye